Worldwide Jets, Worldwide Mets. On The Breakfast Club. She's a coach or two. Time to set it off. So federal agents raided Diddy's homes in L.A. and in Miami um, yesterday afternoon, and we have the news report. These uh, search warrant activities at both of Combs' homes are related to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. However, now agents with Homeland Security raided two homes belonging to Combs, one here in Miami Beach, the other in Los Angeles. And uh, late tonight, we saw agents walking out of this house carrying a cardboard box as well as several bags from the second story of the property out here. Now, agents in Los Angeles could be seen walking around Combs's house there and could be seen uh, taking notes on a table there. And a neighbor tells me that about 30 to 40 law enforcement officers uh, showed up to the house out here and carried mm. out this search warrant. You know what's crazy? That um, I have here that Diddy was not named as the focus of the investigation at this time. So why was they doing all that? That's what I it's understand. Just, it's a lot going. It's like for a show. That's what I said last night. I was thinking to myself, well, what do we? What do they know about this situation? Because if mm -hmm. he's in the focus of the investigation, the, well, he wasn't the focus of the investigation, of Homeland Security, but he definitely was the focus of the investigation, the social media. Yeah, yeah he was. You know, it was a sh it was a show. I mean, the way mm -hmm. that they came air, land, and sea. <clears throat> Uh, they act yeah. like he was with the mob and they were going to have a gun battle and a gun shootout. Uh, we've but never why, seen, though? We've never seen anything like that for alleged whatever it was, mm -hmm. but they act like they were going for the mob. But clear, I mean, about. clearly they know something if they did all of that. So I'm just saying, what is the why is what I want to know. Yeah, I mean, they placed both of his uh, sons, Justin Combs and Kane Combs, in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Um all of that. But uh, TMZ also tracked Diddy's personal jet, Love Air LLC, and is currently on the ground in Antigua, which is in the Caribbean, which sparked rumors that Diddy was fleeing mm -hmm. or whatever. But then TMZ uh, posted like two hours after his homes were um, raided that he was just walking around on the phone. You know what I mean? In my, I don't know if that was Miami or LA, but they had Miami. somebody, yeah, in Miami. Mm -hmm. They saw him on the ground. Um, so. Uh, and, and not not on the ground like on the ground like laid out on the ground just walking around. No 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 he was yeah, walking yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, I'm sorry yeah, yeah, yeah he was walking he wasn't in the air on a jet. Mm -hmm. um, Did they have warrants for Diddy? They have no they have warrants for nobody right? I don't know. To arrest anybody? Yeah. No because they would have been arrested. Mm -mm. Mm. I guess they had a, just a, a warrant to I guess to to look what they were to investigate. Yeah investigate what they Search. were looking for. Yeah they pulled stuff out but nobody knows what it is. They said his jet been up and down California between Sunday and Monday, so around 9 a.m. Pacific time. Monday, the jet took off from Van Nuys Airport and landed in Antigua. Um, but And then they bothering Carisha online. I seen on X, uh, somebody said, well, where Carisha at? And, like, uh, thousands of people reposted it. And she said, right here, what's up? But I'm just like, Carisha, you don't have to say nothing. Like, yeah. you don't. You you really, really don't know. Like, it's don't say nothing. Because these F these people, you know what I mean? Can and I say that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. And, and you said they were chasing Diddy's jet. Uh, yeah. A lot of people that actually own jets, when they're not using it, they charter it out. That's how the like jet pays it? for itself. Yeah. Mm. So it's like if Diddy's not using the jet, they mm. charter it out to different people, employers, or whoever it may be, and they, right. they pay for the jet. That's what a lot of people do. So that's probably why the jet was moving like it was. It feel like we watching a TV show. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like, like And the TV show just starting to get good. It's continuing, yeah. And we, and we about to figure out like, what the hell's been like going we're at on. The peak of mm -hmm. power. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. now. Crazy. Yep. Uh, so that is that. More updates will be available soon. Mm -hmm. um, Russell Simmons also reported served in, ba in Bali. They went to Bali and um, served him. Uh, Drew Dixon is one of the women accusing Russell Simmons of sexual assault. She claims he raped her back in 95. Russell Simmons denied those claims and said she was a liar. He also insinuated that the people accusing him of sexual assault were looking for fame and a payday. Uh, because of those comments, Drew Dixon is now suing Russell Simmons for defamation of her character. She claims uh, these comments negatively impacted her professional and personal life in a massive way. I didn't know they could serve you out the country. I yeah, thought, I, I thought that was the whole, pur the whole purpose of, of leaving the leaving, country. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and, and I, I, I think know. that was at, what I read right, I think that was at his resort, at resort, Russell Simmons' yeah. own resort, and they had to go through security and had mm -hmm. to pay the state and all that, so they were really trying to serve Russell. Really? Mm hmm Hmm. Um, so Drew Dixon, she is a former music executive. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did not know that. Yeah. Well, man, this is crazy. Do we have the audio from? Yeah. Uh, this is the crazy thing. Uh, before we play this audio, I just want to. I know everybody made it this girl, but Candace Owens has said this uh, like a long time ago. Like she well, actually not a long time ago, but a minute ago uh, about this whole takedown of the the rap or hip hop nation or whatever. She said it. 
What you mentioned Diddy lawsuit. Yeah, I was about to say that you mentioned Diddy lawsuit what, 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 twice. You guys have definitely covered it, right? Absolutely. It's crazy. Absolutely. You know, it suggests that he was the Jeffrey Epstein of Hollywood, that there's a blackmail ring, that people are get, being given drugs, they're doing things while they're drugged, and then those people are controlled, right? Because if you're a rapper and your brand is hardcore and I have a video of you s- kissing a guy and I'm like, I'll release it unless you say or do or take this position, that's a blackmail ring, right? So the Diddy mm-hmm. lawsuit mm-hmm. kind of led me to ask some larger questions about, okay, because I have been feeling like in my heart that something weird's going on with black media. You know, I'm mm-hmm. like, what? what is this trash? Absolutely. She said this and then see now look. <laughs> like how the kids be you say, I see, I told you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, say. You ain't gonna be able to tell Candace Owens fans nothing about Candace Owens I now. Know, right? Lord have mercy. <laughs> she said that on Breakfast Club last week. She been saying that on her show for the past yeah, month. Said it on and show. Now th- this is happening. Lord mm-hmm. have mercy. Mm-hmm. Lord, Lord, Lord. It's something going on with all right with like Everybody though, like a I, lot going on. I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, yeah, and we don't know nothing. No, nope. that's the reality of the situation. We like really you just don't said know. That, yeah, you said that yesterday when I reported the Kate Middleton story. It's like you don't know what to believe. No, you don't know what at, at like, all. But, but it's crazy. But regardless of, of, of anything, if if these women were affected, if, mm-hmm. if they were sexually assaulted, you want to see. You know, justice for justice sure. for those people, absolutely yeah. hands down. And I don't want to say Drew Dixon was on. I, I thought she was on. I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't want to say that. On what? On the Breakfast Club. Was she on the oh, Breakfast Club? I, I, I can't remember. remember. I don't. I don't remember. All right. Well, she wasn't big when I was here. So no, no, no. It would have been, been like 12, 13 years ago. But yeah, Jesus. But, but like, yeah, like you said, anybody affected or, or sexually assaulted, yeah, you want to see. But justice. you know, you know what muddies the waters. None mm-hmm. of this would be so confusing if social media would just let things play out. Mm-hmm. But that's not the way social media works. Because, you know, Mm -hmm. you'll have so many stories and they'll just be wrong. For example, the whole thing about Diddy fleeing the country. Correct. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you you hear this, right? Diddy's house got raided. Then now Diddy's fleeing the country. You're like, oh, shoot, what did he do? Oh, he did down. something there. Yeah. yeah. You know, but then you, really, you come to find out none of that was true. So but then all, you're like, well, what happened? Yeah, mm-hmm. but also if it wasn't for social media, do you think a lot of these people would be charged? Do you think the pressure would be on for the government to file charges? Or would they just but sweep that can work, under the That can work both the ways, rug, too, you know? though. Because, you, you know, nowadays you got people that will direct folks to law enforcement. You know what I mean? And, and for, 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 to, towards innocent people. Right. Like have a, a bunch of people just flood a... Just call for no reason. Exactly. You think it's jokes yeah, in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. That's true too. But yeah. I definitely feel like the internet is a gift and a curse, though. It, it is. It's definitely both, a gift and you know? a curse. So you can't have 100%. good without evil. You know what I mean? That's Lord, true. I don't know about that either. I've been wondering about that my whole life. What's but that? I guess so. With things like the internet? No, something? I'm just talking about it in general. Can you? Uh, do you have to have evil with good? Like do they mm. do they have to go hand in hand? Some type of way, I guess, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because everybody's not good. You know, people want to see everybody's people's not downfall. Evil either. Everybody's not, but yeah, right. you have evil things. People do bad things. I don't make them bad people. Mm. You know, yeah. you got good people that do. You got bad people that do good things. Sometimes, like it's, it, it think, goes hand in hand. I think what we're all trying to say here is we don't know. No, but mm-hmm. we are watching. That's right. What I know is I'm a good person, but I do bad things sometimes. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to describe that's it that's a good way to describe yeah. it bad is subjective though yeah but I, I don't want to be a bad person trying to do good stuff why no, that's probably what it more than likely that's what it is we're all bad people born in the city and we're trying to be good don't say way because yeah, I don't that, I want nothing to be good. I did yeah, that, I that bad that yeah. made me I'm just saying no good. but you're, we're born into sin anyway right yeah. you know we're going to have to pass oh my god yeah. we did we was Man, <laughs> I forgot about we that. Yes. I we forgot about that. Anyway. I was born. I forgot. Yeah. We I hate Jess. Yeah, we right. spend our whole lives attempting to be good. Oh my god! Okay. That is Jess with the worldwide mess. <laughs> All right. When we come back, we got front page news. Cesar and Figaro be joining us. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.